think that the most expensive wig I have, and I will show it to you in a little bit because this is my first part. It's in my first part. I think I spent like uh, $50, $60. That was the most. Okay, so again, the wig looks like this on the inside. from getting 
this is like sometimes when you're looking for the wig you kind of have to go through the wig and, and see if it's that one that you actually want but other than that it's like the best way to store wigs to keep them you know in good shape especially if they're synthetic fully synthetic i think this one is a mix because i've had this for so long and look how pretty it still looks again it's starting to look a little nappy here as you see but that's because I haven't treated it and I also have um, treatments uh, wig treatments for my synthetic wigs which I don't have with me but maybe for my part 2 video I'll show you anyway guys so this is my uh, most used wig and this is also my most complimented wig like unreal like anytime I go out with it I get so many compliments people tell me oh my god your hair is so pretty oh my god your hair is so pretty and I'm like oh, thank you if you only knew it was a wig but I don't tell them it's a wig because nobody knows it's a wig and they don't need to know it's a wig except for you guys you guys are the lucky ones that know that it's a wig <laughs> but yeah it's a very pretty wig guys very natural looking too very sexy that was my first wig the second wig that you guys have seen the most here is uh, this one. Oh my god i honestly must say this is one of my favorite ones besides that one it's just the texture of this one it's so pretty the color is insanely pretty this is another one i get lots of compliments on but I, on this one, I don't get compliments as much as that one when it comes down to the actual hair. I get a lot of compliments on this one because of the color of the hair. It is so pretty. It's like an ash blonde, but a champagne brown. It is such a pretty, pretty color. Um, this is the brush I use for my wigs. It's called a wet and dry by Gala brush and this I got like at Ross or TJ Maxx or something like that but this hair is so pretty look how pretty it's not very long but it's not short either it's like a perfect length it's it's like a like a medium length but it's very very pretty
That is. 
this in the front it's got layers and this one I'm going to show you this one you can actually style different ways you can style it in the middle like you can put it to where you have it in the middle or you can style it to the side like this or to the other side like this you see how pretty that looks like if you put it to the side look let's say it was to the side it looks so pretty let's do it to the other side it's like fuller on this side but it still would look so pretty and then if you wanted to which is usually how i like to wear it um i like to put it in part it in the middle just like that and this is when i get the j people saying i get the j-lo vibes very very pretty again that's the net we got the two combs here the one comb there see that and the wig gap is a nice size so it fits my head perfectly it also has like these um uh, elastic bands that you can also adjust so it's got like little these little clips like bra clips i don't know and you can adjust them if you need to tighten it or loosen it and all that but yeah look how pretty that is so again it's like a straight hair wig but the front is all feathered and layered see that it's so pretty so so pretty this wig was to me it was like 34.99 I almost died I couldn't believe it I was like oh that that's probably expensive but I asked anyway when they told me that I was like um excuse me I want it the girl was like oh let me see if we have any more I was like no don't tell me that so when she came out she's like do you want the blonde and I'm like yeah that one the same color which was this one as a sample and she's like oh that's the last one we have so I'm like give it to me now bring it bring it before somebody wants it Shh. Anyway, so i was really happy about it it was a good purchase it's so pretty too look at that this is a gorgeous gorgeous wig beautiful wig this was at a local beauty supply all right my beautiful people that is that way too again i do the same thing condition it make sure I let it dry and then I do the whole flipping thing with this one as well I do it with all my wigs all of them and there you have it my pretty JLo wig my pretty favorite JLo wig
and then this this white cap it is a little big on me so when I put it on I kind of have to cover a little bit of my ears because um, it is a little it's like saying like a baseball cap fitting you bigger it goes lower, further lower down that's how this is but um what helps is again the combs on the sides then I have a comb here and then does this one have a comb no I thought it did but it didn't but it doesn't sometimes again when you have a comb in the middle it helps a lot so it could hold on tight but this one doesn't have it I thought it did but yeah and I absolutely love 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 this one this is so pretty what you hear in the back is my belt rubbing about up rubbing against my chair don't be thinking crazy now this is my belt beautiful color texture i've had this um wig for a long time too and uh i love it as well it's actually one of my color wise one of my absolute face because that's the blonde i actually love whitish blonde not grayish blonde because that would be platinum blonde I'm talking about like this peach blonde but yeah guys and again I do the same thing I tuck it in just the same way and again I tuck them all in to Make sure that when you do do that, the hair is dry. Beautiful. Last, but definitely not least, and um, this one you've actually seen lately. I have not worn this one, I don't think at all or much, besides my last few videos, two videos. I think it's my last two videos, I can't remember. And it is this one. The length of this one is actually my favorite out of all my wigs because this one is the longest. It's a 24 inch. 24, no, it's more. It's like a 32 inch wig. I'm gonna stand up to show you guys. Um, I think, I think this, this is another 
reason why it costs me a little more is because it's a synthetic mix. Synthetic mix means a synthetic hair mixed with something else. I want to say human hair, but I'm not sure, so I can't say that. But look how beautiful. And again, the same process goes with the wig, wig out. I treat all my wigs with wig out. And this is the brush I use for them, the wet and dry brush, which is a really, really good brush. You gotta treat your wigs like you treat your hair. You gotta detangle your wigs like you detangle your hair. You gotta take care of them like you, you would take care of any hair. Because if not, they're not gonna last, especially if they're synthetic. So, look how pretty. Oh, I love this one. Like, I really wish my hair was that long. Isn't it pretty, guys? All right, my beautiful people. That concludes this part one of my wig collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which one of the ones you saw today was your favorite and why. I'm just curious to know that. All right, my beautiful people. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to stay blessed. Don't forget to stay beautiful. Don't forget to stay glamorous. Don't forget to stay safe and healthy. But most importantly, be kind, my beautiful people. Being kind is absolutely priceless, yet it doesn't cost a thing. I love you guys with all my heart. Till next time. Bye. I'm telling you guys, this is my real hair. Having curly hair is beautiful. I wish it was long, but I'll tell you it's maintenance. Curly hair, a lot of people are like, oh no, you just put it up in a bun. Or... No, my loves. Having pretty, curly, healthy looking hair takes a lot of work. Especially when you're a blonde.